will find the stair tool in the architecture tab. The first thing to do is to click edit type and adjust the stair calculation rules. First, set the maximum riser height. The risers in your stairs will never go above this value. Then, set minimum tread depth. When you start modeling your stair, you can go above this number, but not below. Then set the minimum run width. This value does not include the stair support, like stringers. The second step is to set the base and top levels. Set the levels and the properties and adjust the offsets. The desired stair height will be automatically calculated. You can now begin to draw your stair. Select the most common straight run tool. Then click once to start a stair and click again to complete. 9 Essential Stair Tips Tip number 1. Stair always goes from bottom to top. When creating a stair, the first click is always the bottom and the second click is always the top. To flip the stair, click on the flip button on the modify tab. And when the stair is complete, you can always click on the arrow to flip it. Tip number 2. Have a close look at the option bar. Many settings can be changed from the option bar, like the actual run width. By default, this value will be equal to the minimum run width, but you can change the value to go above. As you see, our stair become larger. Tip number 3. Use 3D views and sections. Using 3D views in addition to plan views and sections is a great way to build and understand stairs. Try to keep all these views open when modeling a stair. Tip number 4. Understand where to find all parameters. Each stair type also contains a run type, a landing type and a support type. To access all these settings, Click on a stair and click Edit Type. Access the Run Type settings. Inside this type, you can modify thread thickness and set the nosing length. You can also set the riser thickness and set materials for thread and risers. Just below Run Type, you'll find Landing Type. By default, all settings are the same as Run Type. You can uncheck the box to customize all these settings. Finally, you'll find Support Type for left and right support of the stair. Tip number 5. Landings are automatic by default. If you create multiple stair segments, you'll notice that the landings are created automatically. Uncheck Automatic Landing in the option bar to remove this feature. To create a landing at the top or bottom of the stair, use the landing component and create a sketch. Tip number 6. Adjust desired number of risers to change stair slope. By default, desired number of riser will be equal to the lowest number of riser you need not to go beyond maximum riser height. However, you can specify more riser to get a softer stair slope. You'll need to adjust the stair drawing to complete. Tip number 7. Adjust actual tread depth for a longer run. By default, this value will be equal to the minimum tread depth. Changing this value will make the run longer. Don't put the number below the minimum thread depth, else you will receive a warning, because the slope will be too steep. Tip number 8. Adjust begin with riser and end with riser. Click on a stair and click edit stairs. Then select the run, and you'll see that you have begin with riser and end with riser option. Notice on the section what happens when you check and uncheck these boxes. Risers at the beginning or top of the stairs will be added or removed. Tip number 9. Select Railing Type while creating stairs. When creating a new stair, click the Railing button on the Modify tab, then select the Railing Type to be used. Three advanced stair tips. Tip number 1. Select Carriage or Stringer Support Type. Select the stair and click Edit Type. Then select Stringer for both right and left support. This type is used to mimic metallic stair construction. Now go back to the menu and select Carriage Support Style. This type is mostly used to mimic wooden construction. Tip number 2. Set Support Dimensions. The first thing to do is to select the stair and click on Edit Type. Then edit the Support Type. First setting to adjust is the Support Width. When you are done, adjust the total depth. Then adjust the structural depth on run. And finally, the structural depth on landing. 
as you can see the right support is now much bigger. Tip number 3. Use multi-story for identical high-rise stairs. In the stair instance properties, you will find the multi-story top level tool. Pick a level to add identical stairs linking all these levels. This tool only works if the distance between each level is always the same. If you like this video, make sure to check the complete Revit Pure's basics package. It contains an ebook, a complete video tutorial series, an exercise project, and a basic Revit template. Download the complete package at revitpure.com/basics.